Hello, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been a minute since I've sat down and recorded a video, but today I really wanted to show you guys how to create a really cool website and specifically the front page using the program Show It. I love using this to build websites as it is really great for people who are a designer like myself because there's no coding needed, which is just wonderful. And so today along the theme of what I've done for a mood board previously and a logo design video, I'm using the same local coffee shop in my town called Cafe Bino. This is a passion project I'm just doing for fun. And so today I'm gonna build a new website today for that coffee shop as well. And I'm gonna show you guys how I make the front page. So without me chatting any more than I already have, let's just hop right into the video. So hello guys. I'm sorry, my microphone wasn't working for that first clip. We'll be introducing this video. I don't know why, but welcome to a coffee and design with Alice. Uh, I'm excited to show you guys how I create the website, so let's get right into it. First, what I like to do is go to some stock-free image websites. So what I'm doing is I'm going to unsplash.com. I just feel like Unsplash is one of those ones that has really good like coffee shop and sleek kind of, I guess more modern photos. I really like the quality of most of them on there. So I'm going there for a lot of coffee shop photos and I'm also going for some photos of my hometown, my city, Calgary as the coffee shop is, is is a local one in my town and i'm just grabbing all the ones that i think would look appropriate or could look really cool on a new sleek website for this coffee shop then i go to pinterest i love pinterest you guys have heard me say this for many years but um, i love using it for all inspiration art websites graphic design everything so i'm just looking at different website designs on here and using them as inspiration then i'm going to show it as i mentioned show it is the site that i use to build most of my websites my actually my business website was built on there as well super straightforward no coding is required and so i'm just going to go in there and start editing things so for example um the logo at the top. I also had an idea here that the Calgary, my city skyline will look really cool if I just kind of put it on a all black background um, and used it at the bottom of the website. I just really wanted that sleek kind of cityscape idea. I don't know if it's kind of odd to have a city in the, in the dark, like at nighttime for a coffee shop, but I wanted that kind of dark vibe throughout the page. So I thought that was actually maybe something different, maybe something that could be cool. So I'm just playing around with how it fits on the website. But yeah, talking about show it. So show it when you start, you just build it on a typical blank kind of canvas. I'm just using the one that was already there. As you can see, there was like wedding photos before I hopped in here. It's kind of a website template and I just removed everything on it so you can build your own template instead. And then in here, you can change the design settings. So I'm setting up the text, the font that I want to use throughout the website. Um, and then hopping in here and adding my logo that I created in one of my last videos. So if you guys haven't seen that yet, I will link it here for you guys to check out. But I designed a logo for this coffee shop um, as I noticed they didn't really have much of one before. And now I'm just taking, you know, text from their website. So 30 years, great coffee, kind of where it's located and everything. I'm just taking all that information from their site that's already existing and then placing it on front. Um, and I'm also looking at the Pinterest inspiration photos as I go. It kind of helped me figure out like what direction to go in with the website as I wasn't too sure if I wanted to keep it very similar to the one they already previously had or really just completely switch it up which is kind of what I ended up doing but keeping the uh, text information the same here I'm playing with the fonts and I'm playing with the color of the font I find this really helps kind of spice things up a little bit so as I was playing with the color of the font I realized I should add in all my font colors you can do that and show it so you can kind of set your branding colors so you can quickly grab them throughout the website which I find super helpful so I used the color picker tool figured out kind of what color palette I wanted and added that into show it so I could quickly change the font and the background colors now to that color palette that already existed and make sure it's all you know kind of the same and then here I'm going to pick Bay. this is another free stock image site but I found um, a vector of some coffee beans which I'm about to use in a second but then I also went to their Instagram page of the coffee shop that I'm you know making a new website for for fun and I went to figure out um, kind of what pictures they already have existing off the coffee shop and I went online and grabbed some of those as well and then I put them in Photoshop and kind of edited it to fit this little photo frame um, so that I can use this on the website as well so I'm just kind of playing around with you know putting their coffee shop um, the actual existing coffee shop in a background for me to use on the website. So here you can see I'm taking the Vector Coffee Beans from Pixabay. 
and I'm adding them on the website. I'm kind of playing around with the sizing here. Watching this back, I'm playing around with the sizing a lot more than I realized I had before. I think this is like four times speed, so you can see I'm going rather slow with this. And it's nice, I didn't mention on Show It, you actually build, you can build side by side how it's going to look on the phone and how it's going to look on your web page. I love this because it saves you so much time just getting them both done at the same time and that way that nothing goes funky when you have to convert it to work for a phone. So really, really appreciate that about them. So that's why you see me working on a phone screen and the web page screen at the same time. I just prefer to just get it all done at the same time. But here I'm just adding in some text here, um, moving those coffee beans around, kind of playing with the positioning of those to work with the cell phone screen size as well as the computer screen size. And I just think that's really important important to mention. Grabbing more text. I usually don't like things to be too text heavy with a website, but I actually thought in this case it kind of worked since um, there's not too much happening in the first section <clears throat> with just the logo. So I grabbed that text and then to just kind of break it up a little bit more, one of my favorite things to do with websites is to play with shapes. So I inputted a box, as you can see a rectangle, and then I made it <clears throat> transparent in the middle with a border. and. As you see, it doesn't do exactly the same thing to the phone. You have to go to the phone screen side and then change that as well. So it can take a little bit of a while, but I do really appreciate that you can do both right next to each other so you can see how it's gonna look on a phone and how it's gonna look on a web page. Once I was done, I just kind of played around with the coffee bean motion. This is something I think is really cool with Show It is you can add little transitions which take no time and I played around with the speed and everything so have those coffee beans kind of sprawl out onto the page as you're scrolling and I really liked that kind of effect. It's, kind of, it's sped up here as you guys are seeing me work through this but I really liked how it looked in real time speed. So I play around with that a little bit, make sure it works for the phone as well. and. Um, as you can see, I'm just, you know, finicking around with the logo and everything as well. Now moving on, I decided to make another section that has a picture background. Instead of the coffee bean background from the beginning, I decided to use a different hero image. So um, I believe I used a coffee shop image from Unsplash here. And then I just kind of toned it down. So this is the picture I grabbed, removing all my stuff from before because I just duplicated that top part and um, toned down the image and now I'm grabbing more text from their website uh, to fit this section as well. So you have the you can find us at, I'm gonna change that eventually anyways. This is one subscribing one of their uh, food items which is their cowboy cookie, love the name. <laughs> and um, just making sure that fits the screen for the webpage and then also for the phone. Now I went on a little bit of a hunt because they didn't have any pictures of the cowboy cookie on their website, which is why you know I think I'd recommend if they do ever see this video, which I doubt they will, um, I would add some food product photos as you talk about them. So I'm adding this into Photoshop, doing the same kind of um, picture frame background for it and then adding it to the page so people can see what this cookie product looks like that they're talking about. I just thought this was a good way to use. It's a little tip. If you have a low quality image, so for example, screen grab from Instagram, by putting it into a little box or something like that on Photoshop, you're not stretching out the image too much and I can think it kind of hides if it's not the highest quality, at least in my opinion. So I tend to do that if a photo is a screen grab from the internet or something, adding a border, kind of decreasing the size, not making it take up the whole page. You can kind of hide the fact that it's not the highest quality photo um, and that you don't have the original file. So just playing around with the text here as well and moving that cookie across the page. And yeah, then I like to just keep looking at the page and seeing how it works with the transitions, seeing if that box is gonna have a subtle transition in or not. All the little things like that I find really fun with web pages. Then moving on to the next section. Here I was looking for an image of their, I think it was their breakfast sandwich or something like that. Um, I found one and then I wanted to re remove the background on Photoshop because I just wanted the white plate with the food around it. I didn't want the blue background. So I'm just quickly removing it on Photoshop, saving it as a different image, importing it to show it, and voila, now you just have the plate with the food on it. Again, it's not the highest quality photo because it's a screen grab from Instagram. I didn't have their photos on hand, but um, I think it kind of works when you remove the background. It wasn't too noticeable for this one. Um, and then I'm just playing around with the text here as well. Didn't want it to take up too much of the page. And I had an idea to have the kind of egg sandwich plate roll into the screen and then have a bunch of arrows with 
text saying which piece of the sandwich is, is each piece, as that's kind of what they're talking about in the paragraph, the special ingredients that they use. So I'm also inputting some white arrows that I edited in Photoshop. I'm about to import those in a second and kind of drag those and the text around the plate so that when it rolls in, you have all those arrows pointing to it. And that is how I set up the first page. I did not film the ending for some reason with the um, skyline at the bottom, but you guys will see that in any second now where you show, well, I'll show how I incorporated that in the page as well. But that is how I finished up the front page for this coffee shop. All right, so I also wanna apologize. I realized as I was editing this, editing this that the screen is so close to my computer screen. Next time I'll do it on my big monitor so it's easier for you guys to see. But I hope you guys enjoyed. It's just like a quick little design with me. I didn't wanna make it too formal. This is how it showed up at the end. We have our little Cafe Bino logo at the beginning coffee beans in the background you know the little coffee beans coming out from the side I really liked how that worked out it's not too cartoony we got some unsplashed stock images the cowboy cookie in the little frame then we have the breakfast sandwich I love the little roll in with the arrows and I did that with a coffee cup not perfect edit but uh, and then here's the skyline at the bottom I don't know if it's a little too busy at the bottom but that's kind of how it worked out and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I'll see you guys next time